So I'm all about the Florida Keys and today we're going to take a look at Ann's Beach and uh, it's a, just a strip of beach alongside US-1 on the Atlantic or Ocean side at the, the north, uh, actually the southwestern end of Isla Mirada on Lower Matacumbi and uh, it did not do well through Hurricane Irma. Uh, Hurricane Irma uh, pretty much uh, destroyed the beach and they closed it down. They closed Anne's Beach down and so today we're going to uh, take a look at it three and a half months after Irma and see what it looks like today. Stay tuned. So you can see the beach is closed. But it's not stopping people from coming out, flying their drones, taking a look. Some people the other day were swimming. It's a New Year's Day today. 2018, January 1st. So it's very, very low tide right now. Beach to commemorate our recognition of Anne Eaton, who lived on the island for many years and dedicated herself to maintaining the beauty and serenity of these keys and helped bring this park to life. This is where the boardwalk used to be, and uh, Irma took this boardwalk out. It was a really nice little boardwalk you could go along here. I'm going to walk it down and show you the nice little secluded beaches. Uh, along the stretch here. There's lots of sand. Irma blew in lots of sand. I think some of it's been um, kind of picked up and spread around. So that was a help to this beach uh, with the sand being blown in. It's always good. Beaches can always use more sand. Uh, I guess I read online that uh, that's what happened to one of the one of the hurricanes from a long time ago also blew in a bunch of sand uh, to help make this beach initially. I can't remember which hurricane that was. See what I like about this place is you walk along where the boardwalk used to be and you find these little uh, secluded spots where families can hang out or groups can hang out. We got you got a family over there, and then they have, they have their nice little thing, privacy going. Beautiful, beautiful day. I was just talking to these folks over here from Canada. Fun little shaded trails through here. This one leads to like another little seclusion beach over here. People out enjoying the beautiful day. This is the way we just came. Went under that tree right there. out enjoying this New Year's Day. It's beautiful, sunny. It used to be a lot more lush in here. And almost kind of jungle-like. And you can see how Irma's kind of stripped the trees. And I brought, brought in a lot of sand, check out the sand. 
can see all this sand. These piles of great sand that Irma's brought in. And I'm gonna walk through here and you see another little beachy area where people can have some seclusion over here. I mean, it's, you know, it's not one of those beaches where there's like a lot of sand uh, on the shoreline because it's kind of more wet and everything, but, uh, but still, I mean, bring a chair, bring a blanket, and it's, still, it's beautiful here, you know. the way we just came. There's a better walking trail through there, but I'm more close up to shore. I mean, close up to the shoreline. I feel like they need to take the sand that's been spread out or blown back there in that area, like especially there, and like bring it up here to kind of a closer to the shoreline. I mean, I guess they can't bring it too close because the tide comes up pretty high, but... So yeah, I guess they really can't put it here because then it would just be taken back out, but I don't know. Little tide pools. Look that. So yeah, as you can see, the tide is really low right now, but that's pretty typical um, during this time of day and um, Anne's Beach is uh, I read online also but I don't, didn't really have to read online to know this that Anne's Beach is good for families with kids because it is so shallow here and you know they can just wade out there and have a blast and mom and dad don't have to worry about them going out over their neck and, and drowning so much. Yeah, lots of great sand once you get back at a little bit from the shoreline, all in here. And there's US-1. I love these nice little pockets where you can just come and have some privacy with your family, friends. There's a pile of sand in here. Uh, was not here before, not this much anyway. This one. And yeah, so when the tide is this low, it's actually a good time to bring the kids, I think, in a way, because then they get to play these little tide pools and it's a chance to kind of educate them on the marine life and whatever. And just all kinds of things sometimes you can find in the tide pools, maybe the ones that are out more. Uh, I was just hearing a father walking out there and teaching his, some, his kids something about the marine life and the tide pools. The tide pools. Earlier when I first got here. So we're back here on the where we started when I first started showing you Anne's Beach. Closed signs. Take a walk over here where these people are standing over there. So, this is the south side of Ann's Beach. Very low tide. Lots of, several people are enjoying a beautiful, sunny, warm day. It's got to be at least 80 degrees out here. I'm sweating. I'm seeing all kinds of little crabs. Here. See all these little holes? All these little crabs. See that one? You look at them all. They're all just skittering in, in and out of their holes. So, you see why it's still closed? We don't even have the signs back up yet. Uh, no fishing here, as you see, and uh, but you can have your dogs here. I'm on a leash, but yeah, it's good. Yeah, 
I think it's kind of better when the, the tide is higher. You don't have all this grass and... I mean, it's still there, but I mean... Up here in this area, it's a little bit easier to walk out in. Overturned trees by Irma. Kind of messy. Here. I'm up closer by the roadside and you can see all the trees and the holes from the trees where they've been knocked over. So a lot of cleanup still needs to be done, especially of all this, you know, this kind of thing right here. Maybe not a lot of people know this, but there's only one naturally occurring beach in the entire Florida Keys because the Keys are all coral. And so there's a lot of man-made beaches, private and public. Um, but, um, Bahia Honda State Park has the only naturally occurring beach. That is what I've read online. I could, there could be more than one, but that's what I read. And I think Anne's Beach was, of course, this is kind of naturally occurring because you've had hurricanes blow up the sand, and it's kind of it's not made that great of a beach at all, as you, if you as you've seen from the video footage. But I mean, it, it's made a kind of a. a kind of a beach. A lot of people from Miami come up here and just hang out. You know, it's not the greatest beach. I, I granted, I mean, it's probably not too much better after Irma. I mean, the sand is great, but uh, a, a lot of people still like to come here and hang out. I personally, not so much, but I have been here a couple times. And up there, you got parking across the street. There's little parking spots where the closed signs where I showed you, but there's not very much parking there. So you really have to um, park here and then just kind of walk down and walk across the street. And that's Anne's Beach, guys. <laughs>